Hi, this is going to be a video on exercise 4-21. Before you can even start filling in the information, you're going to have to do some calculations. So you're going to need to write the information down. And because of how this spreadsheet is password protected by the, com by the publisher, I'm going to open up a Word document so I can keep track of the information. So the first thing we have to calculate is the setup cost. So we're going to have setup of setting up of equipment, or however you want to phrase it. You just need to make sure that you know. So we're going to take, to figure that cost out, we're going to take the expected cost that's listed in our textbook divided by the activity capacity. So in this case, it would be the 126,000 divided by 150. And we're going to have to do the same procedure for ordering materials. The machining and the receiving. So we're going to have to do the same procedure. The expected cost versus the activity capacity. So since you know how to do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you the answer for this one. This is $840. So just so you can see how I did calculations. So what we're going to do is enter in the information. So for the first one, it's going to be $840 for model X and Y, because that is the amount that we calculated ourselves. We are told that for model X, the number of setups is 100. And this is information that's coming directly out of the book. And then we're told for model Y that the number of setups is 50. So again, you're going to go through the sequence in the book and enter in those amounts. And so that's going to give you all of information for number one. So for number two, we actually have to use the information that we're calculating. Now that we have part one completed, we can go back and do part two. I'm going to flip back to the Word document because we're going to have to do some more calculations before we can enter answers into the spreadsheet. The book tells us that we need to determine the overheads assigned to two, the two expensive models. So if we look at our book, the information we're given that we used to figure out part one, our two most expensive things are setting up equipment and machining. So now that we have that information, we can calculate our numbers. So to calculate the formula that we need, we're going to take the 126,000, which, which is what the expected cost is in the book. We're going to have to add that to, and this is where it gets a little confusing, 126,000 divided by 252,000 times the cost of the machining and the, sorry, the ordering of materials and receiving, which is 48,000. So let me just go through where I have the numbers from, because you're going to do essentially the same thing for the machining. So the 126,000 is given to us in the activity expected cost area of the problem. So it's before it even gets to the steps that it wants you to do. The 252,000 is the cost of the setting up of equipment plus the machining cost. 
Sorry, my typing is usually faster than my brain. And then the 48,000 is the ordering of materials plus the receiving. So that is the information you're going to need for the formulas. So once you find the answer for both of those. So if you do the math, this would be 150,000. So now we can figure out the amounts that we need for the new activity rates. So again, like up here, we took the amount divided by a number. We're going to do something a little, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to take our 150,000. So for part two, the setting up of equipment, we're going to have our 150,000 divided by the amount that we're expecting to do of 150. So if we take 150,000, divide it Sorry, I accidentally clicked on the wrong thing. 150,000 divided by 150. Okay, so if we take our 150,000, divide it by 150. So we know the cost here is $1,000. And we know we're trying to find how much 100 would be. We're going to use the same activity usage. Then you're going to do the same thing for the machining. And that's going to give you your total. The last part is you have to do a percentage error. On the way the spreadsheet is formulated, you're not going to be able to do it on the spreadsheet. So again, I would either create a new spreadsheet or Go back to Word and do this part in a Word document, and then just submit that amount to me as well. Okay, so once you have parts one and two complete, you can find the percentage error. And then you're going to tell me whether or not it's a high percentage, do they need to change anything, what needs to be fixed, what would you expect to happen. So what we're going to do to find the percentage error, we're going to take the dollar amount. So I'm going to take the amount from number two. So we're going to take the total for model X. And we're going so we have the total for model X. Subtract the amount from the total from number one. So this is total from model X number two. Subtract the total for model X number one. Divide by the model total for X from number one. And that's going to give you a decimal. You'll need to convert the decimal to a percentage. And you're going to do the same procedure to figure out model Y. And again, you're going to tell me, give me some reasoning. Tell me why you think if it's, if it's a good rate, how it reflects the ABC costs. What can we learn by studying that? If you have any questions on it, please let me know. And I hope you guys have a great day.